In this video, I'll be showing you how to draft a three-part corset. I like to start by drawing a borderline which serves as my shoulder line, followed by the bust point, under bust, and uh, waist measurement. We have our bust point to be 10 inches, waist under bust 13 inches, and our waist to be 16 inches. Using my ruler, I'll be connecting the point horizontally. I'll be using my marker to make the lines more visible. On my shoulder line, I'll be plotting my shoulder measurement, which is 14. I'll be dividing 14 by 2, which will give us 7. Using the standard neckline measurement of 3 inches depth and 3 inches width, I'll be connecting the dot with my curve ruler. On my shoulder line, I'll be coming down by 1 inch since our shoulders are slanty. And I'll be using my ruler to connect it to my neckline in getting our armhole curve we need our chest line measurement which is seven and a quarter in order for you to know how i came about the seven and a quarter please kindly watch my previous video i have a detailed explanation on that and i will be coming down from my shoulder line to my bust to my chest line like so and I'll be, in order to get the curve, I'll be taking the midpoint, which is three and a quarter. And I'll be going in by half an inch, like so. On my chest line, I'll be plotting my bust, me, bust measurement, which is 36. And I'll be dividing that 36 by 4, which will be giving us 9. So whatsoever is your own measurement you plus it on your chest line using my curve ruler i'll be connecting the points like so i'll be plotting my bust palm measurement which is my distance between one my nipple to nipple which is eight and i'll be dividing that eight into two which will give us four i'll be plotting four on my bust line under bust line and also my waist line using my ruler i'll be connecting the three dots together like so i'll be coming down by three quarter and also going in by three quarter also going out by three quarter on the other side i'll be using my ruler as well to connect the point in order for us to get the radius we we'll have to find the distance between from your bust point to your um, under bust measurement and for this measurement we have it to be three and now form a circle round like so to get the radius you can use your compass to connect the point or a free hand I'll be using a free hand to connect the dots like so.
using my curve ruler to form the curve. And I will take him the distance to know the taking note of the distance, which is one point five. Mm. On my chest line. On my shoulder line, I'll be getting the midpoint, which is two and a quarter. And I'll be connecting that to my bust line. I'll be plotting one and a quarter on my center um, side front and three and a quarter on my center front adding both distance it will be giving me two inches on both sides like so using my curve ruler to connect the dot For my um, depth, neck depth, I'll be coming down by half an inch. It depends on how you, uh, you want your cleavage exposed. You can either come down by one inch. And I'll be going in by half an inch. Using my curve ruler, I'll be connecting the points. And I'll be getting the midpoint, which is one. And I'll be coming down by half an inch. Using my ruler, I'll be extending the line. And with my curve ruler, I'll be connecting the dots to form a curve. Also, I'll come down like so to get my curve at the dam. And I'll be doing the same for the center front too. This is our two-part corset. Ne getting our three-part uh, corset will go down two inches by the side, two and a half inches here, also two and a half inches, and two inches. Using our curve ruler, we'll connect the points. I'll be plotting our bust measurement, which is 9 inches, 
plus these two inches. We are adding it back. And one and a half sewing allowance inches. You, it depends on the sewing allowance you want to give. You can either give one or one and a half or two. It depends on what you want to give. We also plot the underboss measurement and add back the one and a half in inches. And also the sewing allowance inches. Likewise, the waist, add back the one and a half inches and the one and a half sewing inches. We use our ruler to connect our points. We'll be extending the, we'll be adding two inches hem allowance. It depends on what you want to add. Extend the lines like so. For the back pattern, we'll be extending the lines, the shoulder line, the chest line, and the bust line and the waist line. On our shoulder line, we have it to be seven inches, and um, we're using the standard with three inches and uh, one inches depth measurement we are coming down by one inch we're using our curve ruler to get our neckline please don't forget to add one inch zip allowance the way you are seeing it in the video for the back alone connect the lines you draw extend the line to the chest line Next, we'll be finding our midpoint, which is three and a quarter. Then we'll be plotting our bust measurement on our chest line, which is nine. Using our curve ruler, we'll be connecting the lines. We'll be um, plotting our bust palm measurement, which is four inches on our chest and on, on our waist measurement. Using our ruler, we'll be connecting the dots. And we'll be going down by from the chest line by half an inch to try and connect the line. And by the side, we'll be going out by half an inch, also half an inch on both sides. In order for us to get our dart. Try to connect the line down. You plot your um, bust circumference measurement, which is 9 inches. And also your waist measurement, you, you, you find the difference of the dart, which is 1 inches. And you add it back, 1 inches. Then you add sewing allowance, which is 1.5 inches. 1.5 inches. Add your sewing allowance on the waist, which is 1.5 inches. You use your ruler to connect the dots. There's our zip allowance, one inch zip allowance. 
in order for us to get a nice um back curve i will be using my curve ruler to make a beautiful curve at the back because i don't want the back to be straight Yeah, this is both our front and our back pattern. I'll be cutting out the patterns like so. It is very important for you to label your patterns before cutting. In order for you not to have it messed up since we'll be joining the bust cup. We have our 1A left and our 1B left. Both arrows pointing at each other, 2 and 3. Carefully cut out the dart like so. When cutting out, you cut out carefully so that you don't cut out the necessary parts that we'll be using. On a fresh paper, we'll be tracing out the top of the cup in order to have it in a single piece. Using my seal tape, I'll be attaching both pieces together. This is now our new pattern. And for the back, we also cut out the back as well.
gently cut out the that slice so please do not forget to add seam allowance when you are cutting it on your fabric in my next video i'll be showing you how to cut how to be adding your back your allowance and cutting on your fabric Hope this tutorial was very helpful please do not forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe or if you don't if you have not subscribed yet please do so please share this video if you have any question i'll be at the comment section see you and god bless